Off the glove of Crema, and a uh, quick puck comes back out to Connor Yao. Yao over to a wide open Hartley. Hartley across the middle to Crema. Shot, score! Troy Crema, power play goal, makes it a 1-0 Dartmouth lead. 2.20 left to go in this first period. Again, some really good passing there for, uh, for Dartmouth. And, uh, Crema was just left wide open in the slot, and boy, was he happy for that goal. He was a little bit happy there. As a matter of fact, lost his footing in his celebration here. So Troy Crema uh, notching his second goal of the season for the junior from Toronto. Can't keep it in the zone. Back out to center ice. Bullock comes out, 30 seconds on the advantage. Bullock has it, has some fresh legs under him. Coming in, looking, uh, stops at the top of the circle. Nice pass over to Patterson, who winds up. We're going to have a penalty coming up. It will be on St. Lawrence again. Too many men. As a uh, quick shot, score! Brett Patterson makes it a 2 to nothing Dartmouth lead. Beautiful goal, 15-33 left to go in this second period. A nice play there by Dartmouth. It was going to be initially a too many men on the ice call for St. Lawrence. They had five guys out there, but they were on the uh, penalty kill, so uh, they were going to get called for it. It looks like uh, it's going to negate the uh, both penalties, I what guess. What would you take, you know? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, uh, hey, the goal's big, so two power play goals here in this period for Dartmouth. On in, gloved down now by Ben Masella. Masella back the other way, hits a wide open Smolsinski up along the far side, but he gets knocked off the puck. Centering pass, Ward shot in, and a score as Brian Ward, the ex-Dartmouth player, puts St. Lawrence up on the board by a score of 2-1. to one. Yeah, interesting there. I don't know what happened, but it uh, looked like he just got, got left alone out there on the corner and uh, drove right to that. He was one-on-one -on -one there with uh, Charles Grant. I don't even know if Charles Grant saw him initially because he looked a little bit out of position there. But uh, nonetheless, 2-1 uh, game. Yeah, as uh, St. Lawrence start again from deep in their own zone. Now off the stick of uh, number three, Josh Hartley, back out. And uh, that puck's going to get flipped up in the air. Nice shot. Barry score! Jack Barry makes it a 3-1 to one Dartmouth lead. A nice feed from Kevin Neely. 144 left to go in this second period. Yeah, how about that, uh, that puck? Uh, Hit, I think, Kevin Neely at the blue line, went directly up into the air, and uh, nobody really uh, knew where that puck ended up. And uh, Kevin Neely actually got back to the puck and put it right on the stick of Jack Barry, who just buried that one. Jack Barry now uh, notches his seventh goal of the season here for the Big Green. They would move into a, uh, a three-way tie for 10th uh, place with a victory tonight uh, with uh, Brown and Union. But uh, again, uh, we still got to some hockey to talk about here as a shot comes into the uh, right in front of Charles Grant. Loose puck, ping pongs in, and yeah, that's going to be a shot. Uh, it might have been number 14 or number 20. Either way, it is going to be uh, the fourth line scoring on the uh, big green to make this a one-goal game with 9.39 left to go. Yeah, I'm not, that, hurt, that puck hit a lot of people in front and... Uh, Took a favorable bounce, and somebody for St. Lawrence is on the doorstep to put that one in, and uh, just like that, it's a 3-2 game. So and that's going to come back the other way. Jack Barry gets it out of the zone here, coming back up ice, looking, shot and score! Empty net goal here for the Big Green. Will seal it. Seven seconds left to go, 4-2. to Dartmouth is going to walk away with a victory. Dartmouth, uh, good, good effort there by, uh, I think that was... Uh, Jack Barry coming up all the way up the ice, and uh, I think it was Shearhorn who uh, was able to tap that one in. But uh, big goal there, and that's going to wrap this one up. And uh, yeah, with that, uh, Dartmouth is going to uh, come away with a victory tonight again and a uh, sweep of the weekend here. Also, it looks like a penalty on St. Lawrence. Uh, I guess probably for the hook there, but it doesn't really matter. There's only seven seconds left. And so, uh, uh, with that, very, very smart move there. Out to a wide open Hessler, looking, tries to get a shot in, and still around the back of the net. Listen to this crowd here. No still waiting there. to see uh, <laughs> yeah, who's going to uh, take the puck. And uh, that's it, final faceoff. Shearhorn getting credit for that goal, and that is going to do it here as Dartmouth is going to come away with a 4-2 to two victory. A very hard-fought battle, and what can you say about the play from Charles Grant in the last five minutes of this game? Yeah, he was a real, he's been good all game, but uh, a couple of nice redirections came in from the